Oh, hey everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm on the river as you can see. The plan is to catch some crawfish and then just do a nice crawfish boil. I'm actually in town staying with my folks tonight, so I'll be cooking the crawfish there tonight. And who knows, maybe they'll join me, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna jump in the water here. It should be uh, fairly warm this time of the year. It's the middle of July. I'm just gonna start flipping rocks over and picking them up as I see them. This is one of my favorite spots, so hopefully we can catch a bunch. So uh, that's the plan. Hey guys, check it out. That is what a cooler full of crawfish looks like. I caught some of them on camera and then some of them off just so I could use both hands to move rocks and stuff. But uh, gosh, I don't know. I must, I, I'm thinking I probably have 30 or so, maybe more. So let's get home, get some hot water going and throw these things in there. Yeah. Alrighty, going back to my folks' house to finish up the uh, crawfish boil. I've got corn and I've got some small golden potatoes that I'll throw in there as well with some Old Bay seasoning too. If my folks are home, I'll see if I can get them in on some of that food as well. I don't know what their plans are, but uh, yeah, if they're home, we'll see if we can get them in on some of that. All right, guys, I'm at my parents' house. So let me grab the crawdads out of the cooler, head on inside, and we'll get to cooking these guys. Oh, there we go. All right, this is my parents' house. We're in the kitchen now. I'm gonna get some water boiling, and then I'm gonna be using the Old Bay seasoning. And then I got some of those mini golden potatoes inside the fridge. I've got some corn. This is the biggest pot that I could find. So um, 
I don't know. I don't know if that's big enough or not. Maybe we'll just have to cook um, a few of them at a time, but I'll see how many I can get in there. So first things first, let's get some water going. Here we go. Hey guys, I think my parents have a rat in their house. Check this thing out. Oh, whoa. It's just a dog. <laughs> Come here. Oh. Whatever. Guys, I decided that while I'm waiting for the water to boil, I'm gonna cut up some of these potatoes and throw them in there now because they might take a little bit longer than the crawfish because the crawfish are only supposed to take about 15 minutes and I would like these potatoes to be kind of soft. So I'm gonna throw these in now. Yeah, and I can feel the water, it's almost boiling anyways. These small potatoes I'll just throw in there, just like so. We'll cut the rest of these up here. Okay, I'm also gonna go ahead and start seasoning up the water with the Old Bay. And I like to put a lot because I like my crawfish and potatoes to really taste uh, like that Old Bay seasoning. So I do a nice heavy dose. What do we have here? An escape artist, I see. Uh-uh, I don't think so. Nice try. By the way, guys, if you're curious where to get Old Bay seasoning, go to your local grocery store. If you have like a seafood section, check back there first. Otherwise, just go wherever they have their spices, like the salts and stuff check back there just about every grocery store I've ever been to has Old Bay seasoning and it's my favorite for like shrimp crab and of course crawfish so yeah just wanted to let you know that now I think these guys have had too much fun in the pool and since the hot tub is boiling we're gonna take some of these guys out and uh, let them get nice and toasty that's gonna kill them instantly by the way and we're just gonna grab as many as I think can fit in there. Ooh, that's a big one right there on top. Throw them right in there. They're gonna cook for about 15 minutes in the boiling water, and they'll actually turn red like lobsters when they're done cooking. Oh, I might be able to get them all in there. We'll see. All right, you guys. It has been about 15 minutes. I've got myself all set up so that I can take these things out. And we'll put them right in there. Uh, I don't want to drain the water just yet because I'm going to throw um, some corn in the water. But for now, I'll just throw these guys right in there along with the potatoes, which should be done by now, I would expect. All right. And now I can put the corn in here. We'll let that cook up. All right, folks, I'm gonna get my corn out. And also, my parents showed up at their own house, go figure. And my dad and I were having a conversation here about whether or not these are called crawfish or crawdads, what do you say? Well, of course they're called crawdads. 
I'm a dad. And we think that that might be a little sexist because there should be craw moms as well. So, but anyways, you know these things are ready when they turn just beet red like this. So I've got butter here, the corn, and I've got the crawfish or craw dads or craw moms. My mom wants to be on camera. So let's go ahead and eat these things. I'm not even gonna do a taste test because I know it's already gonna be good. And I'm gonna see if I can convince my mom to eat one as well. <clears throat> okay, here's how I crack these things. I'm just going to rip the tail off, clean out some of that right there, just that yellow stuff. And then I'm gonna crack it right here on the sides as well. And then that's gonna give me access to meat just a little bit better there it comes there's not much just a little morsel then you can dip it in the butter tastes just like lobster I'm gonna I'm gonna crack crack one for my mom my dad's gonna get in on some of this just crack it. Okay, this is the piece for my mom. We'll get just a little bit of butter. Go ahead, mom, and tell us what you think. Can't eat the poop trail, Mark. No, there's no poop trail. I see it right there. That's not poop. It's Ooh. oh my goodness. <laughs> not the way it's good poop. Okay, the debate is over. These are not called craw moms because they won't even eat them. You can also, actually with these things, suck on the heads and drink the juice out of them. It's pretty good. My mom walked away. So guys, thanks for joining me on this episode. Um, I'll try to get my mom to eat some of these. If not, her loss. See you next time.